What up, everybody? What up, everybody? Let me get to the spot. Let me get to the spot. Oh, let me get my microphone set. Oh! Welcome, everybody. This is Plan Your Greatness. This is the Plan Your Greatness Leadership Principles I Learned in Prison Series. This is part two. This one is Create Competition and Deadline. All right. Now, let's think about this for a second. I'm going to do a little bit of review. If you if this is the first video you're watching in this series, you probably want to go back and watch number one, which will say plan your greatness. Um, and I'll say leadership and principles I learned in prison series. And then specifically, it will talk. It will say uh, be motivated. That's that's video number one. So this is number two. And what I explained in number one, I'm just going to go over lightly again. When I was in prison. I created or I took over the recreation department or I was I was listed as the assistant, but I had gotten so much uh, power in that department. I was run basically running everything. And while I was running everything, I made it very competitive through. I created Olympics. I had about five or six events that guys were, were able to uh, show their individual skills. Then there was a volleyball tournament. It was like a three on three league. And then all of a sudden, then they had a tournament at the end. There was physical fitness, push-ups, sit-ups, all kinds of things to test your physical fitness. I had a free throw competition. I had a three-point competition. I had a three-on-three um, a tournament. Then I had the basketball league and I had the playoffs. I had a fast pitch softball league that I started. I had spades and chess tournaments. I might be missing other stuff that I did, but I know I had those individual competitive, individual and team competitive events going on on the yard. Now, Bill Belichick, Nick Saban, Tom Izzo, Coach K, John Calipari, and Gino Auriemma. If you know sports, those names will resonate with you. They're some of the best coaches in the, in the game. We've got football, we've got basketball, and we've got women's basketball. All right, reason why I bring those up, they are known notoriously for having very intense practices where they're challenging their guys through through physical competition, and some of the coaches even have like these mental competitions. And I understand why they're doing that is because they're trying to figure out who likes competition, who thrives in competition, and who shies away from competition. Because what happens when you put people up under pressure, certain things happen. There's an old saying in the hood that says pressure busts pipes. And that's probably came from the plumbing industry. But here's, here's what you find out. If that person can perform at a high level, under pressure, in practice, chances are that does translate into games. If you're knowing where you need to be, you're able to process the information and able to make a decision in practice under pressure packed conditions, the game is going to be, oh, I recognize this and going to be able to perform at a level. And whether it's sports or it's in a corporate setting, you want to find out, do you have somebody that when given a deadline, can they hit it? When they're given a goal, do they compete? Because if you're out here in a sales environment and they say, hey, if you sell X amount of whatever product it is or you bring in this many people, this is what you get as a reward. You get to come across the stage. You get to shine up there. There's some people that don't want that. They don't want the challenge of trying to be their best. Other people sit quietly and they just go, okay, I see, I see what it is, man, I'm about to make it happen. Those are the people that you want to know because those are the people that you want to promote. You want to have them be inspired. Like I said, be motivated because you want those people inspiring the next group. Because here it is, like I said before, game conditions. When you see somebody perform in game conditions, as a coach, you're not surprised because if you've seen them do it in practice, you're going to put them in the game situation. And when they perform, you're going to be like, yeah, I've, I've seen them do that in practice. So that's number two. Number one, make sure you're motivated. Number two, foster and encourage an environment of competition because you're going to be able to learn a whole lot about yourself and your team under those conditions. All right. This is Plan Your Greatness. And I will say this again. Plan your greatness. You know why? Because no one else will. I'll see you next time.